I need to tell you something. What is it? Today, I saw Davy laughing and flirting happily with a foreign woman. Come on, look at you. You ate too much. Your stomach is upset again, huh? If you eat too many steaks and stuff yourself again, you'll never have it again. Understand? I'm going to learn you to make Bobby fall in love with me. No problem. Uh, I'll teach you hey, who is that woman? Succeed. Is it a deal then? No problem. I'll ask Bobby to have a cat play date with you. He has one <laughs> called Ava. That sounds like a great idea. Coco has a rival in love. I'd better tell her right now. Big round eyes. Yeah. Curly hair. Mm. And long legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you know that? We've met already and fought each other. Who the hell is she? So hot. I was professionally trained to recognize dangerous people in a crowd. As I see it, this woman is deadly. Coco. Coco. I'm with you. Oh, my. Jeez, my goodness. Uh, I haven't closed my eyes for days. I'm so exhausted. Uh, we're so stupid. How could we? How could we try to get depression? And almost jump in the sea. That's right. If we died today, we'd have nothing. Can't believe we even wanted our precious Fury to die with us. I wonder how it's going with Fury. <laughs> Don't worry. He's smart. He's been with us for years. He'll get over it. I bet he'll come back very soon. Hey, but on the other hand, that woman named Lucy so quickly cured our suicidal feelings. That means she's a psychologist and not our competitor at all. Mm. Hmm? <sighs> Mr. Lee. Hi, Mr. Lee. What the hell are you two playing at? Why haven't you answered my calls? <sighs> Sorry, we were busy investigating that Lucy. We couldn't respond. Any news for me about that woman? Yeah, of course. That Lucy is just a shrink. She's not our competitor at all. Then keep looking for the shipwreck. Ah, uh, boss, don't worry. Julie and I have been searching on the sea every day. I'm sure we'll find something very soon. You two don't have much money left. I'm warning you two. You'd better do it fast. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. We'll find the shipwreck soon. <sighs> Let's go. Look for the ship? Why bother do that? We survived death. Let's go eat. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> come. Yeah, come on. <laughs> hey. Hmm? I heard Davy once studied abroad before. That woman. Could she be his ex-girlfriend? That would be bad. I once read in a book. There is a 93% chance a man will hook up with his ex if they ever see each other again. It can't be true. To be honest, I was joking. She might be his classmate. Oh, no, no, no. I have to find out whether Davy is staying with that woman. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> hey. Oh, no. Why did you sit down? <laughs> Hello? Hello? That woman is in here, too. Mm-hmm. What would you like to drink? Uh, whiskey. Okay, whiskey. just a moment. Oh my, she's so sophisticated. Does she want to get herself drunk? And then seduce Davy tonight? It... it can't be possible. Oh, oh right. Last time I heard, she mentioned to Davy something about Bobby. Bobby? Mm-hmm. Why would they talk about him? Could she be... Bobby's ex-girlfriend? Jeez, Coco, don't talk nonsense here. Watch your mouth. It can't be true. No, no, no. I hope she's not Davy's ex-girlfriend. <sighs> but who on earth can she be? <sighs> We're just wasting our time here. We should find out whose ex-girlfriend she is. Got any ideas? <sighs> I've got an idea. Excuse me. 
My boss, Davy, asked me to give this to you. Put it here. Was Davy your former classmate? No. Actually, I barely know him at all. Oh, please enjoy. Mm. Neva. Now it's your turn. Go ahead. Little man? Hmm? <laughs> you dropped something. Thank you so much, pretty lady. Sure, little man. Who is this guy in the photograph? Oh, that's Bobby. Haven't you seen him around? Pretty lady, later do you want to come play with me? Is she really Bobby's ex-girlfriend? How about you ask this Bobby guy to come and we play together? Okay, bye-bye. Mm. Well, Olive, I guess you will have to marry me after all. That lady is much prettier than you. You are no match for her, you know? Don't say that again. Go. Naughty boy. How? How come I'm no match for her? Am I not good enough? Waitress? Hello, what can I do for you? Where can I find the restroom? Oh, this way, please. Thank you. Very pretty in your opinion. What are you trying to say, huh? Don't waste my time. Just speak your mind, all right? I don't have time for talking nonsense with you. Davy, is that girl your ex-girlfriend? What does it matter to you if I have an ex-girlfriend? Wait, which girl? What ex-girlfriend? That foreign girl I fought with last time. Oh, her? That's Teresa. That is the Sheridan's president's, by that I mean my boss's, daughter. There's nothing between me and her. I'm telling you, I know you're with Olive all day. Don't gossip about it with her, you hear me? Don't worry, Davy. This is between you and me. I... <laughs> Olive, you look upset. So that girl really is Bobby's ex-girlfriend? I guess she must be. <gasps> damn it, damn it, damn it. Hey, what should we do? Uh, Coco, why is life so harsh to me? I've done so much for him. I also want his parents' support. All my efforts would have paid off and my perfect love life was waiting for me. How can this woman appear out of nowhere? <sighs> why do we have to suffer like this? You know, the more you love him, the harder it'll be to get him. No way. I won't give up so easily. Well, do you have a plan to fight back? Not yet. Hey, wait for me. Let's talk about it. It was really a great success creating that pet lover's paradise. The scenery, the atmosphere, and the environment are both very excellent. Yeah. That is not my concern. I only want to know when Mr. Wright will show up. I want to see him. He'll come really soon. Let's go. Looks great. Must be a big yeah. day today. Is there anything big to announce tonight? There's I guess so much food here. Everyone, attention please, attention please, attention. Listen to me. I want to say something. Tonight, our best, 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 best guest we've ever had is here, Miss Teresa. Everybody welcome. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, let me introduce you to you. This man is the manager of the pet club, Mr. Charlie. Hello. And they are employees of this pet club, Joanna and Rock. And this handsome little boy, he's Charlie's lively son, Nemo. How about the others? Hey, Teresa, we met earlier hey. today. So is your little man. All right. Everybody help yourself, huh? Make yourselves at home. <laughs> okay. Oh, cheers. Cheers. It's okay, Jim. Don't worry. 
This is good. <laughs> Answer. We didn't tell Olive and Coco about this party tonight, did you? No, I didn't. I promise you won't say a word then. Or they'll definitely ruin my plan. What plan is that? Don't be so curious, young man. Huh? I just want to know, when will you give me the Ultraman? You promised me. I'll buy it this week, huh? But if you don't hand over my Ultraman at that time, I'll definitely tell Olive you're planning something and ask me to not tell her and Coco about this party that you're holding in secret. You threatened me? Hey, hey, Bobby. Come, come, come. Come on. Let me introduce you. This is our most distinguished and beautiful guest, Miss Teresa. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Come on, don't be shy. Nice to meet you. I heard that you are an expert at diving. Oh, not bad. Just for fun. I'm a huge diving enthusiast. Can you please teach me? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I've never taught any diving lessons. You can ask me. Uh, come here, come here. Do you know who she is? She's our president's daughter. I'm telling you, if she's not happy, I'll get fired, all right? Just do what she asks. I don't care. Just don't do this. I just can't do it. Come on. Don't worry. Just do your best, all right? Come on, come on. So, I mean, can you please teach me diving? Hmm. <laughs> that is great. All right. I heard you have a cut. Yeah, I do. Even better, I love cards. When can I meet your card? Tomorrow. <laughs> a handsome guy must have a handsome card. <laughs> Come on, don't you stand there. Have some wine. Chat a little bit. Get to know each other better. Enjoy your time. Make the lady happy, okay? This is Avon. Ivan? That sounds like a dog's name. You must be a cat with few stories to tell. Miss Teresa, when can we sell the diving instruction? No rush, no rush. Let's just chat first and warm up. Mm. Can I call you by your name, please? Instead of using Captain Bao, or maybe Mr. Bao. Whatever. Any name is fine. <laughs> How about I call you, honey? <laughs> you can just call me Bobby. Why do you call him Ivan? Because that name appealed to me. Seems to me you're an introvert. You keep your stories close to your chest. Mm, I'm quite different from you. My parents are always busy and don't have much time for me. I've been feeling lonely. That is why I like to share my stories with the people I meet. When I share my lonely memories with my friends, I kind of feel I'm not... As lonely as I thought anymore. <laughs> you know what? When I was eight years old, my parents bought me a ginger cat. I named her Shirley. Then one day, my nanny went to the market, and I was sleeping along at home. Our house suddenly caught on fire. I didn't realize that it was Shirley who woke me up with her clothes. And then suddenly, Shirley passed away after that from healing too much poisonous smoke. Do you think Shelley was a hero? Hmm. She was a hero. <laughs> now it's your time to tell me Ivan's heroic stories. <laughs> Evan could never be a hero in his life. He only sleeps and eats, right? <laughs> as tall as she is, have no big eyes, no long legs, so what? You're just an ex-girlfriend. It's all in the past. Didn't you feel ashamed coming back to him? Seven, ready to teach her a lesson. Let's go. 
Bobby, as the leader of the lifeguard team, shouldn't you watch over tourists on the beach? But what are you doing here, chasing ladies? Seven, stop it. Manis. I'm not slacking off. I'm doing my duty, teaching her diving. That's nonsense. Teaching her to dive on the shore? I'm learning the theory I will use in the water later. That is reasonable. Quite well put. Don't you have a clever tongue? I'm flattered. Just know how to handle your rude bitches. Olive, I'm only teaching diving, that's it. But why would you teach her? I'm sorry, but I really want to learn to dive. If you want to learn diving, no problem. I can teach you. Tell you what, I'm the most qualified diver here. He's not qualified to teach you. I'm sorry, I only want to learn from him. I don't want you to learn from him. That is your problem, not mine, and you can't stop me. Learning diving is the business between Bobby and I. Can't you see? It's not your business at all. Olive, it was Davy who asked me to teach her. Teresa, I should tell you this. Well, Bobby and I were criticized for being caught in a hotel guest wardrobe recently. We had to make a public apology. Now everybody in the hotel knows that he's my man. I don't care what happened between you in the past, but know this. Nothing will happen between you. You hear me? That is great. I like a challenge. Let's see who will laugh in the end. Let me make it clear to you. Bobby is my boyfriend and Seven's daddy. We're a family. You don't stand a chance. Don't even think about taking him back. That's not going to happen. Seven? So this must be the well-known wonder dog. You want to use a dog to keep your man? You have no confidence in yourself. You... You call him your boyfriend? But I like him, and he'll be mine. You like him? I have the right to, and I will win in the end. Then let's wait and see. Anytime. That girl, Teresa, is the hotel president's daughter. I don't care who she is. Bobby is mine, and mine only. No one can take him away from me. I'll back you up. Your water, miss. Hey, wait. Hello, Teresa. I'm Olive. I'm declaring war on you. You're just starting? I thought it had started long ago. Then you'll see which of us can work faster. Since I was a kid, I've always got whatever I want. And Bobby wouldn't be an exception. Since I was a kid, I've never even once got what I wanted. So this time, Bobby must be the exception. Bobby, good morning. Today is your lucky day. I prepared breakfast for you. Why is it nice today? Just a hint. Hello, Avan. <laughs> you like it? This is for you. And this is for Ivan. I wouldn't be too pleased with yourself. Can't you see that Bobby is eating the breakfast I prepared him at home? Right, Bobby? What is that? You call this breakfast? Here, eat my food. I asked my father to deliver this by plane. Stop showing off here. I know you're rich, but all of this is junk food. You should eat regular meals. Bobby, here, eat. What? This organic food? With high nutrition? I bought this especially for you. Bobby, eat mine. Eat mine? Mm. Eat mine. Bobby, eat mine. mine. Eat mine. Eat mine. It's mine. Bobby, eat mine. It's mine. mine. Stop. I'm full. 
Bobby, wait for me. Bobby, 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 Bob
they meeting secretly? Something's not right. <laughs> Hi, Coco. Hi. Here, Richard's resume. Be careful with it. It took Seven and I a lot of time to get this out from Davy's drawer. Thanks. <sighs> Richard's star sign is Taurus. According to astrology, Taurians never lie. How come I feel he's deceitful? Hello, I'm talking to you, all right? What? Davy's coming. Don't let him see this. Huh? Olive, what's up? Hello, Davy. Davey. Coco was just telling me how smart you are. I was just passing by. What a nice day it is. Why are you wearing these clothes? You're off work? But today is Sunday. Oh. Uh, huh? It's Sunday? Uh-huh. As an enthusiastic employee, you should think of working every day. How could you want to take a day off? Hello, Hello Davy. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me go. Go get changed and go on patrol. Yes. <sighs> she bought it for you. You don't want it? Buy something else. But you should eat this up first. Understand? Huh? Bobby, open the door. Just look, Ivan, so much food. <laughs> I don't know. You... What do you like? So I bought them all. <laughs> uh, look. Ivan? Sitting and relaxing. Ivan, do you like the cut food? Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. Why are you so quiet? I never usually talk that much. That is okay. I really like talking. You can just listen to me. Mm. Teresa. Hey? How about we take a selfie? Wow, beautiful. Look, there is a beauty in the cat. It would be perfect if the cute guy could be a bit happier. You, I just adore Ivan so much. I think he's just like you. I love but elegant. <coughs> Seven, stop barking. Come on, stop it. <laughs> Shame on you. Seven, let's go. <laughs> Ivan, you've gained so much weight. Look. <laughs> Look at his belly. You're a chubby cat. <laughs> Teresa shows Avon excessive attention lately and keeps flattering him. She's taking advantage of Avon to get close to Bobby. <sighs> hey. 
Hey, you can make good use of seven to sow discord for Teresa and Bobby. Why didn't I think of that? You're brilliant, Coco. <laughs> I know what I should do. <laughs> As I said, you'll practice diving in the center. Or take a day off. Why must you ask me out for coffee? Let's take a theory class today. Can you please tell me the do's and the don'ts about diving? As for diving, the first thing is, you should be very well aware of your physical condition and spend time warming up first. Seven? <gasps> Seven? Seven! What are you doing? My dress! Dog is that? with me. I want you to fire her. What did you say? Fire Oliver right now. What did she do to you? <laughs> she asked Seven to pee on my bed. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Olive, she went too far. How could she use dirty tricks like that? Exactly. That mm. is not the act of a decent person. You must fire her right away. Uh. She's unbelievable. How could she do this to me? Calm yourself. Don't be upset. I can assure you, Olive is the best employee here and has never made a mistake. She cares for her boss and colleagues. Uh, I can't just fire her. That's unfair to her. You dare disobey me? How about I ask my father to fire you? <laughs> Come on, Teresa. Calm down. Calm down, calm down. Sit, sit, sit. Sit, please. Come on. <clears throat> Don't be angry, okay? This is your family's business. You can fire whoever you want. However, don't you think it's a bit childish to defeat your rival in love by using your father's authority? You're right. I must convince her myself. Yeah. But she can get away with this one. Yes. She will be punished, okay? How about I dock half her salary? Not enough. Then make it a month's salary. <clears throat> and she has to apologize to me. What's the matter? Catch your breath. What's up? 
Teresa complained about you to Davy. That's all she can do. And she has Davy to fire you. I knew she would. What? Wait. How did you know about this? Has the notice been posted in public? Or Davy just asked you to Neither tell me? Neither one. This morning, I wanted to show Davy my newly updated dog translator. I got into the hall and overheard Davy and Teresa talking. Teresa insisted that Davy had to fire you. If Davy dared to disobey her order, she'll ask her dad to fire Davy instead. God knows who she thinks she is. Seven, let's go. Hey, wait, where are you going? It's too early to leave. I don't care. I don't want this job anyway. I just quit. Make way. <laughs> Good for you. Women are crazy. <laughs> Seven, we can't stay here anymore, okay? But don't you worry. Wherever I go, you will always be with me. I won't leave you behind. And also, about my Bobby, I won't give up on him either. Never say die, huh? Come in. Oh, Hi, David. Come with me. Just what follow happened? me. It's really urgent. Come on. Apologize. Just apologize to her. It won't kill you, all right? Let go. I've said I won't apologize to her. But if you don't do that, even I can't protect you anymore. Don't get yourself involved. It's my business. You'd better take care of yourself, okay? I'm fine. Don't Hi. worry. What on earth are you doing? It's time Seven and I left this place. To go where? There are lots of places in the world. There must be a place where we can stay. You really want to rove in distant lands? Why can't you just apologize to her? I'll make myself clear again. I'll never apologize to her, so let it go. Hey, you stubborn girl. Why can't you... You're quite determined. <clears throat> I should look at you with fresh eyes. <laughs> you shouldn't have underestimated me. But you should know. No apology to me. No job for you. If you leave, Bob will be with me, you know? Why are you so sure Bobby won't leave along with me? I'm quite curious to see whether he'll leave with you or not. Hey. Bye-bye. You'll see. You stubborn girl. Can't you take a step back? Davy, stop messing around with me, all right? Why can't you apologize to her? Why are you so stubborn? Never ever. On what grounds? Will you agree to apologize? Unless you ask her to stay away from Bobby. Oh, my God. That is impossible. Then you can leave. Hey, why can't you just say you're sorry, huh? Woman, can't I talk any sense into you? Why are you so arrogant? Isn't this place good enough for you? Hey, hey, just stop. I'm talking to you. Am I too kind for you? Why don't you listen to me? Hey, I'll don't make things hard. Hey. Coco. Where are you heading off to? Thank God you're here. Come help me talk to her. She's leaving. What on earth is going on here? Olive, where are you leaving? I've been fired by the president's daughter. You mean Teresa? Talk to her and tell her to apologize. Why is she the one to apologize? Huh? Come, I'll talk to her. Come on, Olive. Hey, 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 wait, wait, Coco. Don't make things worse. I was too harsh on Oliver this time. But it was she who played tricks on me first. But if I get her fired because of this thing, won't it be unfair to her? But I said I'll let her go if she apologizes. To be honest, if it were me, I'd rather die than apologizing to her. Open up. Are you here to apologize? Never. That's not going to happen. You've crossed the line this time. But it was she who played tricks. You said seven to mess with me. <laughs> Shame on you. Did you forget you also used Ethan to get close to Bobby? But I generally adore Ivan. Oh, my word. She says she loves Ethan. 
As I see it, you dare not compete with Olive. You know you'll lose. Seriously? Seriously. If you're confident, why would you ask Davy to fire Olive? Okay. Olive, you can't leave. You must stay here. I'll compete with you openly. Don't bother to do that. Let's settle it today. What do you say? The loser should leave here. Okay. Oh, this water in the bar. We will drink half half. Whoever stops drinking first will be declared the loser. There is more to come. The loser should leave here. It's a deal then. Never come back. It's not a big deal. You can do it. All in. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. You can't drink this much water. Hey, hey, stop drinking. Stop drinking. Debbie, just tell me to put a good word for you in front of my dad. I... Davy, don't waste your time. Seven, don't worry about me. I must be. This is really bad. Seven, go and get Bobby. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> 